guess what's back guys let's go try to kill some coyotes coyote season is back tonight heading out for my first trip out of the season uh season's been in for about 10 days just haven't had a chance to get out yet and uh been looking forward to this night for quite a while guys uh it's a week night it is tuesday night got work tomorrow of course so gonna get out it's about 8 15 8 30 right now and uh gonna give her hell for a little bit Hope, hopefully get in three or four stands we'll see uh wind's pretty calm and i'm pretty fired up gonna pull back this lane here hop out and we're gonna try our best to throw a few coyotes in the old coyote coffin on the back of the truck let's go guys i'm excited hopefully you are too Got a couple back there pretty fired up. Oh, there's one dropping the fence. Man, I'm still shaking from that first one. right up here guys coyote number one on the season have to watch that video and see where I hit him at not a bad coyote for number one on the year Let's see what he is he or she Still got some raising hell back there. It's one of the other two that was with it. Save them for later. All right, guys, fired up. Coyote number one on the year. First night out in the season. Have to watch that video, see where I hit it at. Put a bad shot on it, just a little too fired up for coyote number one. But we're on the board. Let's get it back to the truck. I'll tell you guys right now these right here coyote cords travis barga good old hoosier boy himself these make life so much easier already out of breath that was a pretty long haul there typically tie that around the mouth Makes it easier to drag, but this one's a little bloody up front, so kept it here on the back. Look up coyote cords on Facebook, guys. Good stuff.
think we got one way out there. Try and get back on some rabbit distress here. Come on in. Just kicked up some birds over there. I'm going to switch over to the rifle. Trying to get downwind. Wind's not good over there. A little ravine over there. I've lost him. Must be just behind that. This tree here in this bush is where it drops off. A deer way back there. That coyote must have winded me, so I decided to switch stands as I never did see it again. Watch this beaver playing around in the creek on stand number three while some coyotes were closing the distance.
I wasn't real sure if this coyote was hit or not, but it continued to run to the right and it lays down and beds down in the corn stubble for I bet 15 to 20 minutes. Eventually it gets up to some different sounds, moves back across to the left and beds down on the left hand side of the farmer's road for another 15 to 20 minutes and I decided to close the distance. Freaking laying down. Wow. Alright guys, man, number two for the night. That was the craziest thing ever. Hopefully I got that on video. I can't remember if I hit record or not, but I watched that thing come across this field and it just bedded down right there. I couldn't get it to move for pup distress, for rabbit distress, uh, anything. So I finally closed the distance. It was about uh, 275 yards, I think is what the rangefinder said. And then I closed the distance down here to about 115 and hit some howls, left the call way back there where I was, and uh, hit some howls, and that thing popped its head up and <laughs> looked like a good shot. So it's pretty muddy out through here. We're gonna tromp through here and hopefully got coyote number two down for the season. Let's go see what we got. There you go, it's not near as muddy over here. Man, that was crazy. We're gonna have to get the thermal out again to find it out here. Should be right up here, I think. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not a very big one. Good deal. Awesome. Out number two on the year. Heck yeah. Let's see what it is. Man. Another male. Heck yeah, guys. All right, let's get the coyote cord on it and get this back to the truck. Got two on the rack. Got work tomorrow. I'm going to call her quits tonight. It's about midnight probably. But there we go. Feels awesome to get back at it, guys. Give you guys a quick uh, stand breakdown whenever I get back to the house. Man, guys, sure does feel good to get back in the swing of things. Uh, definitely was a little rusty tonight. First trip out on this official season here in Indiana. So this one here to my left, uh, your guys is right. That's the first one that I killed tonight. Uh, 
first and foremost, I don't even know how this video is going to turn out. Typically, you guys know, after I make the kill shot, um, I typically get a camera of some sort right out of my, my pack and kind of bring you guys along before I even go recover the coyote in the field. And I'm almost certain that I didn't do that on this coyote right here. Uh, so definitely a little rusty getting back in the swing of things, but I was just so fired up. Um, the reason I was so fired up on this one, one, of course, it's first coyote of the season. Um, but this one was super lucky. Um, walked out, you know, was quiet for three to four minutes like I typically am. Played a little bit of rabbit stress, maybe one, two minutes worth, and uh, a pack of three came in. Two of them stayed back, and this one just walked right to me. It almost got too dang close. Um, I mentioned out there in the field, I'm going to have to take a look at the video. I thought for sure I put a good shot on it. Obviously, it wasn't super great shot. I did see it fall in the field, but uh, being that close, it should have been one that was dead right there and just plopped over, but that wasn't the case. So we'll get in and whenever I'm editing this and making the video for you guys, take a look and see what I did wrong there. But um, that was a fun, quick stand, good way to get things started. Set number two, you guys saw there, saw one way out um, in the field, and then it came up on that ravine where I can't really see over the backside. And, I think I mentioned it there on video that it was going to eventually catch my wind and I'm pretty confident that's what's, what happened and never did see it again so couldn't get a shot at that. Um, this one here I thought it might have been a pup whenever I first killed it um, but after killing this one here this is definitely a pup. This is probably last year's last year's dog here. Uh, both of these are males. This is the one that was on the third set here. Uh, that was one of the craziest things ever. It came in with uh, two other dogs and I eventually put a shot on this and once again I thought I put a good shot on it and um, definitely sounded like contact but man it sure didn't act like it was hit at all and then it ran off bedded down on one side of that road you're probably gonna be able to see this old farmers road in this video but it bedded down on one side of the road and I called for I bet the video's not gonna show it because I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with a bunch of different calls but I bet I called for 10 to 15 more minutes to that thing. Finally played something that caught its attention and then it ran basically right back across the road, went and bedded down on the other side. Um, this isn't like an active road, it's just a, a road right through this cornfield for combines and to get equipment in, so no traffic. But anyway, went over, bedded down, and I called again for probably another, I'm going to say 10 minutes. Nothing seemed to interest it and uh, would, never, would never get up. Occasionally it would pop its head up, but it was about 275 yards away. So I decided just to throw this over my shoulder, close the distance, got within, I'm gonna say 115, 120 yards. Left the call way back behind me at 275 yards. I hit some howls and then it popped its head up from where it was bedded down at and put a good shot on it at that point. So I'm gonna check the zero on this. Uh, just to make sure we're still on. The good thing is there's at least five other coyotes out there that we saw tonight. Um, two with this one, two with this one, and then one in the middle stand by itself that probably got my wind. Um, but man, just happy to be back out. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. This will be uh, the start of the new 2021-2022 coyote season playlist uh, that we're going to put together just like we have in years past. So Appreciate you guys being along for the ride. Let's uh, focus a little bit now on deer season. We're gonna try to get, get a buck down and then, as we always do, we'll start hitting it super hard, putting some coyotes in the back of the truck, but just an exciting time of year and uh, appreciate you guys being along. Happy hunting, be safe. We'll see you in the next one, bye.